weird. Welcome to my coffee shop. Thanks for helping Tweak out in the back room. Would you like to try some coffee? It's... Hey, there he is. New kid. New kid. The Elf King has requested your presence. You can either come quietly or you can fight. But I warn you, fighting this fight at this point in the game is a complete waste of time, and you might as well skip it and just come with us. There is... So, you're the new kid everyone is talking about. What's your name? He doesn't talk, Elf King. He thinks he's hot shit or something. You're playing for the wrong side, dude. What did Wizard Fatass tell you? That we broke the rules and took the stick last night? He's lying. Cartman is the one you should be fighting against. He's hiding the stick, which is cheating, and acting all betrayed and sad to get you to recruit more people for him. We tracked a Twitter raven who says you are currently trying to recruit the Goths for the Wizard. Go recruit them, but bring them to us. Then we can ransack Carbon's stupid kingdom and get the stick back once and for all. I'm trusting you to do what's right. And kid, if you betray us, we'll tell everyone you're a butthole. I am sending our best ranger to help guide you. The bard is also at your disposal now. Don't let Cartman use you. Cigarette, you guys got more? Yeah, we just stole a fresh pack. A guide to South Park Wildlife is everything a hunter needs to know about the beasts of Central Colorado. Got some things for sale might help. Get lost, kid. We're trying to smoke here. Take your stupid hair and leave. Take your stupid hair and leave. I am Stan Marshwalker, brother of wolves and badgers. Oh, oh, 
I got all the time in the world, bitch. Stalling won't save you. Make your move! Give you a good price. Oh, Joy, it's Butthole the Barbarian from the Dungeons of Dumbass. You gotta admit, he looks better. Yeah, he's almost a goth. Being goth isn't just how you dress, it's a frame of mind. It's time for you to prove that you go against society's rules. Yeah! There's a big PTA meeting happening right now at the community center. You need to walk right into the middle of that meeting and tape this sign to their table. Yeah, that will prove your individuality. Go on, beat it, and don't come back until you have a picture of that sign taped to the PTA table. Butter's got a horrible snuggie over there. Uh, yeah, have fun in there. I think I'll wait it out. It isn't right, I tell you! Out of nowhere, this huge Taco Bell is being built, and now our children are missing precious school time! Parents, we've been assured by the builders that they're working to fix whatever problems they've encountered, and school should be able to resume soon. Resume soon? Who do they think they are? They think we're gonna see a, a Taco Bell as being more important than our kids' educations? What if it's not really a Taco Bell we're dealing with? 
Thanks for coming, new kid. Everyone, this is the kid whose family just moved to town. We've become very close friends. His name is... What's your name? Well, anyway, this child and I witnessed something last night, and I'd like you to hear his story. Go ahead, kid. Tell them, you know, about all the... Go ahead, tell them, tell them that stuff. This is a waste of everyone's time. If the PTA isn't going to do something about Taco Bell taking over, then the rest of us parents will. Come, Come on, on. Let's go. Come on. I don't blame you for not wanting to talk about it, but people need to know what's going on. Look, I know how you're feeling, okay? But this isn't gonna solve anything. We've got to get inside that Taco Bell and find out what's really going on. Help me with that and I'll help you with this. I saw you on the ship. You have pretty good control over your farts. Meet me in the bathroom. It's time for you to learn some real power. Fuck the conformists. Why, are they a good lay? Why don't you exercise your free speech at home, little boy? Don't we screw it around in here? I can tell you have potential, but you are undisciplined. Let me show you what I mean. Come at me. Try and fart on me. Come on! Kia! You call that farting on someone? You missed by a mile. Try again! <laughs> Kia! You call that farting on someone? You missed by a mile. Try again! <laughs> Hi, Cha! See that? Your fart's over there somewhere. Didn't come close. So, what do you do when people can block your farts? You must learn to control your farts to move and release at a specific time and place. I'm going to teach you a fart called the Sneaky Squeaker. It will become your greatest ally. Don't believe me? Try and block my attack. <laughs> you see that? I distracted you. Distracting your opponents is key to battle. Look, let me show you again. Pay special attention to the viscosity. Okay, you try. Make your fart detonate behind me. No, you're not forming it right. Imagine you're chewing bubblegum with your butthole. Look, let me show you again. Pay special attention to the viscosity. Okay, you try. Make your fart detonate behind me. Undisciplined. Even a child could block that fart. Look, let me show you again. Pay special attention to the viscosity. Okay, you try. Make your fart detonate behind me. Leaky. It needs more surface tension. Look, let me show you again. Pay special attention to the viscosity. Okay, you try. Make your fart detonate behind me. Undisciplined. Even a child could block that fart. Look, let me show you again. Pay special attention to the viscosity. Okay, you try. Make your fart detonate behind me.
No, you're not forming it right. Imagine you're chewing bubblegum with your butthole. Look, let me show you again. Pay special atten attention to the viscosity. <laughs> Okay, you try. Make your fart detonate behind me. Oh, hey, guys. Oh, Mr. Mackey? Now it's your turn. Use Sneaky Squeaker to distract Mr. Mackey over to the corner there. Hey, did you guys hear that? Sounded like a chipmunk. Gia! Very, very good. Now use what I taught you to sneak inside that Taco Bell. Find out what they're up to and report back here. And no matter what happens, never fart on anyone's balls. You got that? All right, now go. Folks, there's nothing to be concerned with here. Absolutely nothing out of the ordinary is going on. We're simply getting ready for the grand opening of a new Taco Bell. New Taco Bell opening soon. Very big Taco Bell. It's gonna open in a few weeks. Thank you. Uh, will this Taco Bell be serving in Chiritos? What? Well, is it gonna be a full menu Taco Bell or is this gonna be one of those Taco Bell KFC combos? We got a guy out here asking a lot of questions. Just stick to the script as laid out in the protocol. But he wants to know if the Taco Bell will have Enchiritos or not, sir. Damn it, we don't have a contingency for that. Michaels, isolate and neutralize the threat. Yes, sir. Look, it's a simple question. If this is going to be a huge Taco Bell, will it serve Enchiritos? I think we have a right to know. Mark? Folks, we know you're all very excited, but for your safety, we ask you stay clear of the construction site. Mark? Sorry, absolutely nobody allowed past. Check back in a few weeks, thank you. That's odd. That sounds like ketchup in a squeeze bottle.
But so far, we've been unable to stop the UFO from leaking the toxic waste. We've contained all we can, but there are no guarantees an outbreak will not occur. And does the alien liquid appear to have the same effect as last time? I'm afraid so. When the alien waste reacts with organic material on Earth, it turns things into Nazi zombies. Here we go again. God damn it. I'm so tired of Nazi zombies. It's so overused. If the wrong person gets their hands on that green toxin, it could totally spread it. We have a big problem. All right, we're gonna have to completely obliterate everything in a three block radius. Find locations for the bombs and bury it all. Then make up a fake story about an earthquake. We can contain the outbreak this time if we act quickly enough. Let's move. Everything we've just talked about has been recorded onto this tape. I'm going to leave it alone here for a few minutes, then come back later and have it encrypted and locked away so nobody ever hears what was said in this meeting. Yes, good idea. What the fuck? It's broken free! He needs to have your roof and hunt! Walker, brother of wolves and badgers. Big Man, this secret government base room sure is boring. You'd think that a secret government base would have more cool stuff in it.
What's this? It's a recording. There's data on here. Did they say anything? What kind of Taco Bell is it going to be? When are they going to be finished building it? Shh, shh. <laughs> All right. We're going to have to completely obliterate everything in a three block radius. What? Set George's <laughs> underground to blow up the area and bury it all. Then make a fake story about an earthquake. They're going to just blow up three blocks? Sons of bitches. You sons of bitches! What gives them the right? I knew there was more to this. It's not a simple Taco Bell we're dealing with. It's the most massive Taco Bell ever built. You see, ever since the whole Doritos Locos Tacos thing, Taco Bell thinks they can do whatever they want. Well, not here. Not in our town. You've done well, new kid. We're not going to let Taco Bell win. I'll take that picture you wanted now of you with the PTA. Nice. I'll send it to you. I can't decide what taco I should order first. Maybe I'll get them all. Yeesh. Whoa, he did it. Nice. Yeah, but he's still not goth. He'll have to pass the final test. You may look goth, Frodo, but can you dance goth? Less enthusiasm. Totally fucking bullshit. Uh -huh. Not how you drink coffee. I'm feeling the rage. I like what you did with your coffee there. Well, after the combo. What do you think? He's pretty goth. He's pretty goth, right? Yeah, that was pretty good. I felt his pain. All right, new kid, you've officially proven yourself. Yeah, just tell us where you need us and we'll be there.
Oh, hey, kid, you need any help or fight today, you summon me. Sir, you can only summon me once put...